Yo, big up yourselves, welcome back to the channel. Big up the subscribers, big up my members, big up everyone, yeah? Uh, in today's video, we're gonna be doing a board change, we're gonna be adding spots in the hall, spots in the bathroom, an extra double socket, and yeah, it's gonna be nice, so let's get the gear out and run that thing! Boom, just before I show you around the job. Hey, little apprentice is here when he's off school. Yeah, yeah. So here's what we're gonna be doing today. We've got a fuse board that is in here. It has been tested by another electrician just before the customer bought the house. We're gonna rip that out, combine it all into one. The meter might have to be moved. So we'll get them to come and do that. Then in here, we're gonna be taking this light down and putting spotlights in here. So I'm thinking one, two, three, one over there, four in here. Nice, very nice. Then we've got a socket going in this corner. Whether or not we come from the kitchen or in the conservatory bit, just to put a socket on a patches there, just so that they can have power. They're having electric recliners around here. Nice. Then we've got spots in here to change. So there's four in this side and there is four in this side. We're gonna be changing them for black spots and the reason we're changing them is there is no fire rating on them. Nearly fell down the stairs showing you that then. Then up here, we're gonna have, in the bathroom, we're gonna be putting probably two spots in here. So we're gonna have one here, one here. Again, we're gonna be fitting JCC fire guards, IP rated in here. And the reason we're doing that is that is directly above the bath and the shower. So we're gonna get that swapped into two spots. Then one final thing in this room, obviously there used to be a light switch there, which has been changed to a pull cord. So we're gonna be getting rid of that pull cord, whether we need to chop down or we can pull down the old one, I don't know. But there's gotta be a switch going on the wall here. So James is unpacking all the lights, putting them together, putting the bezels on, putting the lamps in. I'm gonna start ripping these down. And as you can see, there's no, um, no fire barrier on it and none of the earths have been connected. They've just been left for some reason. But we'll be fixing it, yeah? So I'm gonna strip these down, there's eight to do in here. I'm gonna take them down, cut them to length, put some earth sleeve on them and get them ready for connecting. So, whoa, I nearly fell then. So these are the spots that we're fitting. We're fitting JCC fire guards with the black bezels, which looks neat. Cool white lamps, black bezels, push fit connectors, good to go, get it in. I've stripped it off and cut it down to size. So we've literally just got to push them in and then we're done. Like that, so that one's done. Seven more of them to do, and then we'll jump back when the power's on. Boom, they're done, they're in, they're looking nice, turn them on, mint. Brightens it up as well, to be fair, but they do look nice, these blackens. Right, on to the next job. Our next job is gonna be putting spotlights in this hallway. So let's go upstairs and see what the floors are saying. To the landing, we've got the carpet, that can come up, and I can see from under the bath that the floorboards go this way. So we're gonna have to make drill holes all the way down. Customers said that they are having new flooring in the bathroom, so I can rip that bit of lino up and take full lengths of board up, ready for us to drill. Nice! Let's get the crowbar out then. Look at that little handle they've left us, that's nice. So, rip the floor up in here, and there's a bit of ply or something underneath. So I'm gonna cut with the knife straight down the floor, rip that bit back, and hopefully that ply does the same. I can just rip it up and just go open up one of these floorboards. Right kids, the floor is up. Floor's up right the way under the bath now. I've took all the bits of wood out. Uh, the customer had to rip the floor up. It was all plot. Well, he didn't have to, but he did. What a hero. What a hero. Now, I've tried the stud buddy downstairs. It's not picking up on anything. So what I've done, if you can see in this bay here, is I've drilled a hole through there. And then down here, the hole is just there, if you can see it, there. So what I can do now is measure off that hole roughly, well not roughly, exactly to be fair, where our spots are gonna be and then go back up and double check that we can get away with it. So we'll set the tape measure up off the hole. We'll put one in line with the hole over here and then we'll come off probably meter, meter, whatever. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do. Right, I've took a measurement now off the hole that we've drilled. I've gone 1500, which is about here somewhere and then I've got 1500 again, which is roughly center of that little walkway there. So I'm gonna measure the center of this now, get the laser up, and then get it marked for where we're gonna put our spots. 
So I've marked spots, I've done one here, 150 over to there, and then 150 over to there. And then I've just matched up where this ceiling comes across, I've matched up for another spot in line with the one on the end. So I'm gonna get those drilled out now, hopefully not hit the joists. Like I say, I can't pick up on joists off the stub buddy because it's not working this time. Boom shakalak, all the people damn one. Anyway, yeah, they're in. We didn't hit a joist and we've got all of them in. So we've got one, I'll come back a bit to show you. One over there, matching up with that. Then we come down and two in the hallway. So there's four in total in here. And when you come through the door, it's gonna look nice. Nice little row down there and one off just to cover the bottom of the stairs. I'm gonna go and get the cable out now, get all these joists drilled in a line nicely, get the cables fed through. This is being plastered tonight, so whether I leave the spots hanging or just leave the cables there, I'm not quite sure yet. I'll probably just connect the spots and leave them hanging to be fair. We are back here tomorrow, but I wanna get the light on, see what they look like, see if it's nice. I'll go and get the cable anyway. It's one bonus to having you here, James, isn't there? Get my hands up them holes. Nice. So he's got them wired now. Young James has wired them. So we've got a loop here because I had to push from this one here. Then we've got two ends there, two ends in the middle there, and the end one I've already connected the spot up so they're ready to go. So I'm gonna leave them in the ceiling like that. It's up to the plasterer then. He can drop them down, pull the bezels off if he wants to, but they should be fine. The first point on the lighting I've took to just above here. So what I'm gonna do is I'll get the spots connected up, then I'll drop this fitting down and we'll put the joints in a Wago box and get it just above there. So we've got our feed coming off the lighting just to go around to our spots. Nice, that'll be another job done. Right, it's gonna drop in a sec. Have you got the weight? Yeah. What are you flapping for? Shut up. Right <laughs> there. So here's the connections coming on to our light. So I'm gonna get these cut. What have we got? We've got a permanent live, we've got two neutrals, and then we've got a switch live there. So I'm thinking, because the only bit of cables I can see that go this way are in that bay, so that's our leg going off to the ring. I'm not sure why I just said ring, because it's not a ring, but yeah. James, Yo. just give those cables a wiggle down there, please. The ones for the light? Yeah, wiggle. Yeah. Where are they? Oh, uh, that one? Yeah. Okay. The connectors won't fit with the old BRB. So I've been and cut the connectors off. Hopefully, it'll just pull up now. Here they are, said Jack. So here, when I've cut the connectors off, I've stripped that black because that's our switch wire, just to show it's which it is so we don't get confused with that. So, get these earths sleeved up, get them all in Wagos. We've got our neutral in and our neutral out. That'll be connected to our blue. This one, we're gonna oversleeve brown to connect to our switch wire for the spots. And then these three in a Wago, these are your permanent lives. So them in a Wago, all the earths together with the new earth, neutrals with the blue, that black oversleeved with the brown. Just like that. So we've got our earths in one, we've got our permanent lives in one, we've got neutrals, and then James has just gone to get some brown sleeving for our switch wire. They will go together there. In a Wago box, under the floor, floor back down. Nice. Ta-da! Four spots in and on, and looking nice so yeah they're done we've got the bathroom to do now which i'm going to be putting two spots in i'm going to be doing exactly the same thing but it'll be from above in the loft and i'll probably take the cables from the bottom into the first spot so i'll get that done and then we'll move on to the next thing right children all the spots and everything's done and we're into the fuse board they've come and moved the meter for me fair play to them that was that was a good job they've done nice one so i've got the tiles and that connected up now I'm just starting to put away the earth, so I've done that one. This ready to go into the first breaker, then we've got another ring, two radials, and then two lighting circuits. So I'll get all those connected up now, and then we'll get the power back off. You're really starting to annoy me now, shut up. Board's done, power's back on. That wasn't what I was gonna tell you though. Got a story to tell you, check this out. So, sent the customer to the shop to go and get a pull cord. This is what it's come back with. 
It's just a string. It's just a string. It's not a pull cord, it's a string. So, we've done that. There is another job which I forgot about, which I'm going to show you now. In the one room. Well, I'll show you. I'll show you. So in this room, we've got a wall light there, a fluorescent there, and a wall light there, and it's fed from a three gang switch. So I've took them down, we've got light, hello, live neutral enough to there, live neutral enough to there, and live neutral enough to there. So there must be a joint up in the loft somewhere. So what I'm gonna do in the morning, I'll get up there, disconnect these, they are pulling up and down, the cap in so it should be fine we'll just rip them back up centralize the pendant in the room and we just put a center light in so we'll measure it out that way and that way drill a little hole and get a new cable in and then either get onto the joint or disconnect it and pull a new one in but that's about it for today so i'll see you in two seconds tomorrow Ta so young james has done this socket himself ain't you mate He's wired it, he's fixed it to the wall, he's just connecting it up now. What colour's uh, live? Brown. Yeah, neutral. Blue. Earth. Green and yellow. Nice. So we've added that socket in and it's just out the back of that spur there. So we've got the ring at the spur, we've just literally drilled through. Pulled the 2.5 in, we're going to spur off this and connect up the new socket. Come on mate! <laughs> Don't worry, I will check the tightness of everything, obviously, because he's doing it. But yeah, he's doing a good job. He's doing a good job. Okay. Customers had their internet fitted. I think it will um, interfere in there, but that's where he's put it for now, just to keep it clean. First thing Jack did when he came in, connect to the Wi-Fi, yay, yay, yay. Just before I go on to the next job, if you have got this far in the video, let's have a big up James in the comments. Right, power's back on. Let's see if it works. Yep, yeah. so what's that mean? Correct. Nice! Happy? Yep. Yeah. Well done. This plane is going down, Batman. How about that? Jeez! Anyway, I've disconnected these lights, so what I'm going to do... James, go and get them... Um, oh, the ladders are there, so don't bother. These cables, if you give them a pull, when I'm up there, I'll know where they are and I can pull them back. So I'm going to pull the three lights back, find out where the original joint was, and then we'll come down, mark up centre of the ceiling, drill an hole, get some cable up, get a light on the end. Bash. Boom. So we've managed to get the original cables back down. So we've got loop in, loop out, and then the switch wire I've just stripped while I was up there just so we know which is which. So we've pushed those down the hole. There was a couple of JBs. I've got rid of all that and threw it down onto the floor by the loft touch. So we got rid of that, we've worked out that these are our switch wires, so common and L1, brown sleeving on that, get rid of the three gang switch. This twin is just left in a JB in the loft, I'm going to leave it up there just because the cable's in and it's dead, but if they ever want to do anything else, wall lights, anything like that, the switch wire's still in, I'll leave that coiled in the back of the box. So we'll get these connected up now, we've got red into loop, red into loop, red into loop. Over sleeve black, switch wire into our live, and then our two blacks out the loop in and out for our neutral. So I'll go and get a pendant out the van, get that on, and then we're into the other room. Light's done. Flick the switch, James. James has done the switching out. Bit of lighting, bit of sockets. He's a master now. Oh, yay! Yeah, boy. So pull cords off. We've drilled up. What I did was took this light down, poked the cable up. James pushed it up for me, and I got in the loft, obviously and then took it over to our new point. We've chopped down and then realized that the wall is laughing plaster. So we've tucked into the wall there and I've just found the closest upright joist. Chopped it out a little bit just so I can get the box on and then James is just connecting it now. And then we move. So that is that done. The audio looks like it's gonna be playing up on this and I'm not sure why. So if it is, let me know, but hopefully not. Next one and last one we've got to do in here is just relocate that pendant. I'm not sure why, and I'm sure somebody can tell me. I'm sure somebody said something about shadows, casting a shadow on yourself, or it, it doesn't make sense to me though. Why was pendant so close to the window before? 
Makes no sense. I'm sure, but I've probably made this up. It's something to do with if your curtains are shut and you're getting dressed, there's no shadow. But surely the light's just shining on you. So if I've got my man boobs out in the window, it's going to light me up. It's probably not even the reason. I've just made it up, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to measure the centre and just move all the wiring that's there into the centre so we can put our new pendant more central to the room. And then that is done. We're done. We've got testing to do, but what I'm going to do is come back. I've got a couple of light fittings and things to put up um, eventually. So what I'm going to do is just come back, put the light fittings that they want up. Everything's done then. It's all completed. And then I'll do a final test.